Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal, and technically we're within launched yesterday, at least or for the NA realms in the pre-patch, with the pre-patch hitting EU shortly after. As of me recording this video though, those servers are still down and so are the beta realms. However, I did get enough footage and enough testing to try out some of the newest buffs that we've seen for the class of Warlock, as they are adjusting some of the hero talents like Hellcaller to make him not the only de facto choice for all Warlocks everywhere, but also to give a little bit of an amp for the Soul Harvester playstyle. A hero spec that we mentioned earlier in the War Within Alpha videos, but one we haven't seen really much since then. Besides this, they also are trying to do some buzz for Destruction Warlocks. We've seen Affliction Warlocks plenty on the beta, and they're definitely quite a popular pick, but they want to make sure that Destra isn't falling too far behind by trying to improve the talent of Shadowburn, which hasn't really felt like it hit the mark. Though I think there may be some potential value to running Shadowburn, but not for the actual damage of Shadowburn, but in the way that it can interact with one of the hero talents. As always, if you guys enjoy these kind of regular class updates for the War Within Beta, be sure to follow the channel, otherwise, let's dive right in. So first things first, we got an update for some of the Warlock hero talents, starting with the Hellcaller, which has been one of the more popular choices by far amongst Affliction and Destruction Warlocks. It is a very strong choice, but with it being a popular choice, to make others a little better, Hellcaller is taking a bit of a nerf. There's a couple of different changes. One is going to be for Affliction specifically, but starting off, Hellcaller main ability of Wither, which turns the Humiliation or Corruption to his powerful Dot, which is so fun to play with. This one is getting adjusted in terms of how you can empower that Dot, either with Hate Fury Rituals, which has been generally the more popular choice which is getting a bit of a nerf this week. Hate Fury Rituals increases the damage of Wither by 30%, which previously was 50%, and reduces its duration by 15%, which was 25% before. So it used to be a really fast ticking, strong hitting dot, which for Affliction Warlocks, you kind of ignored it because of absolute corruption, because it didn't matter how long the dot would stay on the target, it would be infinitely there thanks to absolute corruption. So Hate Fury Rituals is being nerfed a bit in order to make it more competitive against Bleak Heart Tactics which simply increases the damage of Wither, and Wither now gains a stack from Black, and whenever Wither gains a stack from the effect of Black and Soul, has a chance to gain an additional stack. The way the Black and Soul works is, anytime you spend a Soul Shard, your Wither gains a stack, and at some point, when it has too many stacks, it starts to eat and consume those stacks to deal additional Shadow Flame damage. So in a blue post, they specifically said that they're nerfing Hate Fury Rituals to make it less of a guaranteed must-have choice of Hate Fury Rituals as the playstyle that everybody should be running. So this makes Bleak Heart maybe potentially a little bit better. There is some possibility the Destruction may actually end up diving a little bit into Bleak Heart Tactics, thanks to some of the different changes that I've received recently. Also, for Affliction specifically, the Dot of Wither has seen a 20% overall nerf. Overall though, for Affliction Warlocks, they're still running around playing Wither. It is still a very, very popular talent option, or a hero talent option, or a hero spec option of the Hellcaller, and it's still very effective. If you are someone who enjoyed Warlocks being so Dot heavy instead of Malefic Rapture heavy, this is still the case with Hellcaller even after those recent nerfs, and it looks like that's likely what they're going to do with Hellcaller is maintain that heavy Dot damage from that Dot of Wither specifically. Though, Hellcaller now sees a bit of competition, especially for Affliction, in order to make the other hero talent a little bit better, the Hellcaller is being nerfed, this does mean that we will see adjustments to Soul Harvester. And Soul Harvester is receiving a few buffs, not direct damage buffs for its demonic soul ability, but rather how it interacts with both Demonology and Affliction Warlock. The changes we've seen for Soul Harvester has been to their main demonic soul ability, which allows you to sometimes detect a succulent soul, and whenever you use an ability that consumes that succulent soul, being Hand of Gul'dan or Malefic Rapture, the demon lashes out at the target doing a bunch of damage. They change it so the demonic soul now scales with demonologies, Mastery, as well as the talent of Shadow Touch, which is an upgrade for your Vile Fiend. Whenever your Vile Fiend spits at an enemy, they gain the Maw debuff, which allows your abilities to deal additional Shadow Flame damage to that target. With the talent of Shadow Touch, which upgrades this spit for Vile Fiend, it allows your pets, as well as other entities, to deal additional Shadow Flame damage. So, Demonic Soul is pure Shadow damage, which now can benefit from the Mastery, as well as the talent of Shadow Touch specifically. Soul Anathema damage over time that happens from your soul, or from the Soul Harvested Demon within, whenever it unleashes, it now leaves a dot of Shadow damage over time. This ability is also being amplified by both the Mastery of Affliction Warlock, as well as Demon Demonology Warlock, so Demonology gains quite a bit of a buff for this one specifically. 
On top of it, Demonology gains additional effectiveness for the Succulent Soul mechanic, where Hand of Gul'dan damage is being increased to 60% instead of 20%. So they're really, really trying to make this one a lot more appealing for Affliction, but more so for Demonology. That being said, a lot of Warlocks get to test out Soul Harvester this week. We actually have a few logs that show that not a lot of players played this one. It, it, it still is one of those least popular hero specs so far that actually has quite a bit of potential, at least in my perspective personal opinion, Soul Harvester just hasn't really been able to land within PvE content. It isn't quite a Diabolus that really kind of just amplifies your soul, soul shard generation with these demons that can amplify certain abilities, that has a really good gameplay flow, or it's not a Hellcaller either that also has a bit of a gameplay flow and does that ramp up mechanic. Soul Harvester technically is a burst your choice, it just hasn't really been able to really show itself within PvE content, where we have seen it do well in PvP specifically because of the way that Soul Harvester works and how bursty it is. It empowers the damage of Malefic Rapture to make Affliction Warlocks a little bit burstier. It also provides you with additional Nightfall procs and kind of synergizes together with free either Drain Souls or Shadow Bolts for Affliction in particular, and we've seen in PvP it can actually deal with some considerable amounts of damage, which hasn't been able to transfer that same kind of potential into at least Mythic Plus Dungeons. Soul Harvester still remains to be one of the least picked option, and in most cases, like, there's a file that went around kind of with a list of recommended builds for beta for all three specs of warlocks and none of them have soul harvest listed either as affliction or as a demonology which is a little bit sad to see because i thought soul harvester would be maybe someone with a ton of potential and based on the pvp damage it definitely has potential it's just we haven't really seen this one really shine so far and i wonder if additional tuning is going to be needed in order to make soul harvester a more picked option next we got the spec of destruction which has gotten a few updates it's mostly just to amp up its overall base damage, but also to make one of their talents just a little bit better. Baseline abilities such as the Incinerate saw 5% damage buff, but it also saw fire 5% damage buff. Channel Demon Fire, which has seen a bit of play in Mythic Plus situations in on the beta, saw a 10% damage buff, and the Summon Inferno main cooldown also 10% buff. The one of the talents, however, that doesn't receive a lot of play is Shadowburn, and that one saw an 80% damage buff in order to try to make this ability a little bit more of a considerable choice I guess all of the other options available for destruction warlocks and I actually get to try out a little bit of shadow burn and I think there may be some kind of playability to it especially as hellcaller but take a look at the logs and take a look at the numbers generally destruction warlocks are not seen nearly as much play as let's say affliction when it comes to pushing some of the higher end keys at least in the beta that being said, keys are very, very overtuned in the beta. There's not a lot of keys that are timed, although it's very, at least it's very, very difficult to time it without a correct mix of classes. And Destro, while it is seen some play as of recently with this new set of changes, Affliction still dominates it by uh, quite a bit. So I wonder if Destruction may need future adjustments and buffs to be a little bit more competitive going forward. But at least it's good to see that they are at least going back to Destruction to try to make sure that let's give them some sort of buffs to hopefully make them not fall behind Affliction in particular. That being said, whenever Warlocks are playing in keys, they aren't really using Shadowburn, even though that ability got an 80% damage buff. A couple of Warlocks I've seen have used it, but I don't see a lot of them using it. And after testing it with myself, something about Shadowburn, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it just something about it feels kind of rotten. Like, I don't feel like baseline ability of Shadowburn I don't think it has that hook to make me want to press the ability. Even when previously we took a look at some of the uh, different guides and builds for Destruction Warlocks before War Within, some builds for pure single target did end up investing points into Shadowburn, though it was recommended to be used only as an ability if an enemy is right about to die within 5 seconds, then you want to send a Shadowburn to get some resources out of it, or if you are on the move. Otherwise, don't spend your soul shards on this ability if you can help it. So. Picking up a talent and only using it just for the movement phase, it's just something about it just lacks satisfaction. And Shadowburn used to be an ability that you wanted to press in older expansions like Mesopodaria and even Cataclysm because there was some element of like, okay, it's your execute ability. It should feel as powerful as like Warriors Execute or a Shadowward Death from a Priest. And Shadowburn was one of those execute abilities that you were encouraged to want to use, but it just hasn't really been able to capture that same kind of feel. 
Blizzard did try to amp it up with a couple other choices like blistering atrophy because Shadowborn has an increased chance to crit whenever it strikes enemies that are below 20% less or less health. This, uh, this effect can actually go to 100% crit chance at enemies that are at 30% health or below to make it a little bit better as an execute ability and amplifying its damage by 20%. For the below that is fiendish cruelty that allows shadowburn to actually regain some of its cooldown by five seconds if you strike at the target but it fails to kill that target as a shadowburn which allows you to churn out a bunch of shadow bolts once an enemy gets in low health and when the damage crits it actually should be somewhere comparable to that of a chaos bolt if you're not investing into talents to strictly buff the damage of chaos bolt but even without that this 80 percent buff still feels kind of like a drop in a bucket and just this ability is lacking all satisfaction of me wanting to really use it in most combat situations that being said though i feel like shadow bolt or shadow burn rather has a very interesting mechanic when it or interaction when it comes to the hell call or playstyle which could allow shadow burn to be maybe a little bit better See, Shadowburn as an ability is only cost one soul shard, and it can actually have a fairly short cooldown, allowing you to churn a bunch of these shadow bolts out very, very quickly. If you play the hero talent or hero spec of the Hellcaller with a black and soul ability, black and soul as an ability allows your wither to increase its stacks and then start consuming those stacks uh, whenever you spend soul shards. Now, the ability explicitly doesn't really say how many soul shards you need to spend in order to proc black and soul effect. So whether you spend two soul shards or one soul shard, black and soul should be proccing either way. With your Shadowburn being a shorter uh, cost of, or shorter cooldown ability, thanks to the cooldown reduction at lower health, you actually can spam it as much as possible. So combining it together with Malevolence, which allows your uh, black and soul to proc an additional stack every single time, you should be able to proc two stacks of this ability every time you spam your Shadowburn. Combined together with the Blakeheart Tactics, which they recently nerfed the other talent on the same row, maybe you could combine this together for this chance to gain even more Black and Soul stacks, which allows your Wither to ramp up in stacks as well as in damage, and then you get a bunch of stacks of Black and Soul, which starts to rapidly consume themselves, doing even more damage together. So in a way, I think maybe there might be some viability, like if Shadow Burn does just enough damage to be worth pressing, combined together with this Black and Soul mechanic for Hellcaller, there may be some synergy to create this Execute type of playstyle, but rather it's like a, ch a soul churning playstyle while an enemy is at low health, mostly thanks to the cooldown reduction provided by Fiendish Cruelty. So there may be some possibility for Shadow Burn to actually be playable, and there might be some interesting synergy there, but it's still beta, it's still early, it's still nothing is really finely tuned or anything, but it's just something I noted. Like, on its own, the ability, and I really do wish they made Shadowburn a more satisfying ability to press, something you want something you want to press as soon as it's available. Maybe make it so that it's only usable when an enemy is low health, and then really give it like a huge amp of damage so you want to use it as an execute hit as soon as it's up, because I kind of miss it. But I wonder if this 80% buff to Shadowburn will be enough, maybe with this Black and Soul mechanic, to be good enough as an ability to be on the Warlock bars. I still am not a huge fan of Shadowburn as is. I just, I don't know, just maybe it's just me. And you guys can let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm missing something when it comes to the Shadowburn ability. Maybe there's something very, very obvious that I'm just completely skimping out on, but it just does not feel satisfying to press to me i i would rather press any other ability or even the talents that you invest into to make shadowburn better you know that's a one point into shadowburn one point to the blistering atrophy one point into fiendish cruelty i feel like those three talent points can go in just about any other talent hell maybe even go into channel demon fire which at least feels like there's a bit of this amp and it plays around with the wither duration which i think could still be good on its own also but it's just i don't know something about shadowburn to me personally it just feels like it's missing like an awesome gameplay hook something that makes you want to prioritize this ability i feel like it should have been a core good execute ability instead of what it currently is right now that's like a floaty ability instant cast ability something that you can just use to spend your soul shards when you're capping but when you need to move but still, maybe the Hell Caller combination with this ability might be enough to make it viable, but I kind of want to pass it out to you guys down in the comments below from this point forth. What are your thoughts on the different changes that we've seen for Warlocks, for the destruction and some of the changes, as well as the updates for Shadowburn? What are your thoughts on the buffs for Soul 
Harvester? Do you think it could potentially even be playable in the future, or do you think it probably needs more buffs in order to even be considered? And what are your thoughts on Hellcaller? Are you fine with them nerfing it, or do you think we should probably leave it as is? Let me know all those thoughts in the comments down below. As always, I want to thank all of you guys so much for watching, and I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy it or found it informative, go ahead and give it a like. I would very, very much appreciate it. And if you want to join our community or just DM me, reach out to me directly, you're always welcome to do so. In the description, we have a link to our Discord community channel, and I would love to see you guys join the community. And as always, let me know all your thoughts on the Warlocks down below, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.